Um, hello everyone, good evening. We'll be starting in two minutes. I hope I'm visible to you. Good evening, all of you. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, Good evening. Anne, you can start. Okay, you okay, do okay, your uh, introduction and start, maybe. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Anne, and uh, I will be your conductor for the today's session. I feel some of you might know me, have might have seen me in other sessions. Uh, I might be on a new face to few of you. Um, I'll just start sharing my screen. Um, once you are able to see my screen, please let me know that it's visible. Till the time, I would like to welcome you all once again to the series of sessions. Okay, so before we go in, you know, we begin with a session. Um, we'll start with our usual ritual. Um, so how are you all feeling today? Would anybody like to unmute or tell us or would like to, you know, share your views in the chat box? Okay, yeah. Um, thank you, Kiran, uh, for sharing. Okay, so um, that, that would have been my next question, but I think most of you know what the question is. Yeah, how would you like to rate your emotions right now? How you're feeling today on the scale of zero to 10? <laughs> okay, yeah. So most of you have told a five or six, a five or six, a seven, okay. Anybody who would like to, you know, anybody else who would like to share with us, how would you like to rate your emotions for the day? Okay, so, okay, so as we move further, okay, the next question is, think about how you're feeling right now and what kind of weather it relates to. Would anybody like to, you know, relate your mood to the weather? Okay, summer, okay, um, okay. Anybody else who would like to share? You you are free to unmute yourself. You'll just have to raise your hands and then you can unmute yourself and talk, okay? To begin with, if I talk about my mood, I feel it was bright and sunny today. Okay. Um, Ronick says, I think if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, please kindly let me know and forgive me for that. Um, Ronick. I think it's Ronak. Uh, Ronak says it's humid. Simran says it's sunny. Okay. Anybody else who would like to tell us what weather? Okay. Ritu says it's stormy. Okay. Okay. Roshiba says it's cloudy. Is anyone else who would like to? Okay. Sky with a rainbow. Mansi says it's a sky with a rainbow. Sakshi says it's cloudy. Okay. Anyone else who would like to share how you're feeling today or right now with us? Okay. Um, would anybody like to, you know, unmute yourself and tell us if you're comfortable? I think these many are the answers we are looking forward to. Okay. So we'll further move. Okay. Aarti says it's cloudy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you everyone for sharing. We'll move further. Uh,
so i think most of you know um, okay we have more answers coming okay bhavita says um if anybody has just joined right now i'll just give you a quick recap of what we were doing we were trying to know how we are feeling today and we were trying to relate it with the emotion or the feeling with the weather okay um so bhavita says sunshine sunny day with a bright sunlight okay thank you thank you for sharing anyone else who would like to share okay shubhra says sunshine okay feels like most of you the common answer of the day is sunshine and bright sunny and cloudy i think is the most common answers we got today okay so i think most of you know what was the what is our today session right it's about emotional mapping through art so anybody has any guesses what are we actually going to do today if you want you can unmute you can raise your hands if you want to type in the chat box go ahead you can do that any guesses what are we going to do like what what are we going to look in today's session maybe mm -hmm. maybe what are you expecting um okay kala therapy somebody says mandalas okay 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 anyone else okay um so yeah we gonna deal with colors but zentangles and mandalas will be having tomorrow today we are just dealing with colors and you know paints we gonna explore a little bit with colors i hope all of you are ready with the material and it would be really great if you can you know turn on your cameras you know and you know that would that would make the session more interactive for you as well as for me because i'm just able to see small boxes and it just becomes a little difficult because we're going to do something we're going to draw if you all are, if some of you are or all if you are comfortable you can you know you know turn on your cameras so definitely yes mansi and what all here. materials are uh, do we need yeah yeah just a second we would require a paper a a4 size sheet a pencil if you have paints you can go ahead and get your paints it can be water paints or acrylic paints okay. anything even if you don't have paints and you have crayons or sketch pens go ahead you can get that if you have paints carry a small you know a container with water okay and um, you don't have to worry about you know that the whatever we gonna do has to look perfect or anything so you can just freely paint you don't have to be you know worrying about things like that you can freely paint and also just to make sure that the space that you're working in it's tidy you can place a newspaper maybe so i'll give you like we'll take like 3 minutes just for the materials once you all have the materials or you already have the materials arranged with you uh please write a yes in the chat box that would help me to know that how many of you are ready with the material right away and how many of you need time still we'll take a 3 minutes time to just get ready with the materials okay till the time others are you know bringing in their materials and okay um i have a question for all those who are ready with the materials um we uh 
so you you guys had shared that how are you feeling today so if you could just write down few emotions in you know you have a piece of paper right on the back side of the paper you can just write down few emotions that you have been feeling um since last one month or generally that you're feeling from some time or for that matter even some you know very relevant emotions that you feel are you you are feeling continuously from quite some time so some of you said they are ready um i think some of you are getting ready so once you are ready please let me know via chat box or you can raise your hands maybe a minute more and then we'll start with the activity Yes, Kusha. Um, Go so ahead. There are some emotions uh, which uh, we might not have felt for a very long period of time, mm -hmm. which are not consistent. So, for example, it could be an event which angered us. So, ma'am, uh, would that also be included in this? Uh, yeah, sure. If you would like to include that emotion, go ahead. You can include that emotion. So let's let's just keep a uh, you know uh, a margin of a month, maybe a month emotions that you have felt from last one month. I mean, if that helps you, if you haven't felt that emotion in last past two three days or a week, but you have felt that emotion in last one month, and you feel that 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 emotion is very relevant. and you can go ahead i think there was one more mic which was unmuted um uh sagarika i mean i am if i'm wrong please let me know if your mic was unmuted you had any questions go ahead i hope everyone is ready now is there anybody who needs some more time to get ready with the material can we have you yes no i'm audible okay so in order to start as we are as i said the how the even the today's the name of the session itself says uh emotional mapping through art so what we're going to do is we're going to try to understand our emotions so in order to start with today's session what we are going to do is we are going to make a personalized color key for ourselves so before starting with the color key what are we going to do is we are going to write down in that one sheet if you want you can take another sheet of paper but um to make the color key and if you want to just keep your color key with you you can take another sheet of paper but for our convenience what we can do is on one side of the sheet you can just write down all the emotions that you have been feeling since past one month or something that you feel is some emotions that are very relevant in your life that have been constantly there in you know quite some time that you're feeling just write down those emotions okay we'll just write down those emotions once you're done with that please let me know via a thumbs up or a yes in the chat box i hope the first trick instruction was clear yes kosha go ahead then uh, can tiredness also be labeled as an emotion or it would be any emotion? yeah a feeling that you are having yes go ahead okay okay feeling tired yes go ahead Okay, Mansi says she's done. Okay, um, Mansi, would you like to like share something like while you were writing? How were you feeling? These emotions. 
Anybody else who is done? OK, we'll take another two minutes to write down our emotions that we had been feeling. OK. Are we done? Okay. Could you just repeat what you have? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Simran. So basically, uh, we are trying to write down the emotions that we have been feeling in past one month. Okay. Uh, so just some emotions that you feel are very relevant in. Uh, very relevant or very consistent consistent which has been in past one month or from quite some time right i think a few of you are uh, sharing those emotions in the chat box as well so uh, there is happy tired confused and we have arti saying that should stress uh, emotions like stress lazy confused happy tired okay 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 thank you thank you Simran. So we'll take another two minutes to complete this. Thank you, Aarti and Bhuanjit for sharing the emotions that you're feeling. Okay, so I'll just once again repeat if somebody has joined right now. What are we doing is we're trying to make a personalized color key in order to you know make the color key what are we doing is we're starting with writing down certain emotions that we have been feeling past one month so those consistent emotions that you're constantly feeling or you feel that generally exist and uh you know in your life are a part of your life you always feel that so you can include them in your color key Okay, can memory also be considered in terms of feeling? Um, not the entire memory, but um, a particular aspect of that memory or a particular feeling that you felt at that moment. Maybe I think that can be, you know, considered. But I don't think like the if you would like to quote the entire memory. So if you like to you know name or give a give a name to that memory in terms of any emotions that you were feeling at that moment i think that can be a part of it okay so we have even simran sharing few emotions like lazy enlightened confused and stressed okay thank you thank you simran Okay, so now uh, I think most of you are done. Um, can we have like few yeses or if somebody needs more time, you can let us know. Okay. So we have Amrit who also sharing with us. She says that um, happy 
anger, irritation, overburden, and next. Okay. So it seems like most of you are done. So we'll move ahead. Now what we'll be doing is now we'll try to associate some colors to our emotions. Now because this is your personalized, you know, color key to your emotions, a key book that you're creating for your emotions, you can associate any color to any emotion that you want. There is no restriction, okay, that this particular color has to be associated with this type of emotions. There is no such restriction. You can go ahead and associate any color to any emotion. I hope the instruction was clear. So now what we'll be trying to do is we'll try to make certain small boxes. Okay. Uh, if there is space in front of your, you know, just next to your emotions, you can just make a small square there and then you can add a color to it. For example, if I say that I am feeling sad, and I would like to associate it with violet. And if I say I'm feeling enlightened and I want to associate it with bright orange. So something like that. Any color that you would like to associate your emotions with, you can go ahead and do that. We'll take another five minutes for that. I hope the instruction was clear. And if anybody would like to just, you know, share what color you have associated with, what emotion, I mean, that would, the, they are, like, would like to uh, Ma'am, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, Roshika, go ahead. Uh, ma'am, can, can we use one color for two different emotions, the same color? Yeah, go ahead. If you would like to, you can associate, but then you should, you know, mark it when you are writing in front of the emotion. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So when we are finally doing the, so uh, you can definitely go, go ahead and do that, but later you should just be aware that where you are denoting that emotion. So it is suggested that if you can take different colors I and mean, yeah. that would help you later in aspect to understand which emotion will, there okay. are you trying to, you know, pick, depict it. Mm -hmm. But if you would love to go and take two colors, okay. you can definitely do that. Or else if you would like to want, you okay. can just take two colors and mix them and formulate another color and also, you know, add that color to one of your emotions. Yes, Mansi, go ahead. You have your hand raised. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you said something regarding shapes. Like, what was that? Uh, because we were making, we are making a color key. What I just said is that you can draw a small box in front of the emotions and you can, you know, denote the color there, which color you are associating with, which emotion. Okay, okay. Got it, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. I, I I hope Rashida was able to answer your question as well. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll take five minutes more so that you all can associate colors with your emotions. And once you're done, just let me know via chat box or you can just raise your hand and if you would like to share with every one of us the platform is open for you. The color present on your screen, uh, that green color. So, what does this relate to? Which emotion? Um, I'm sorry. Can you repeat? The color on your screen, uh, the green color. 
magenta type this color mm -hmm. so uh, which mm -hmm. emotion mm -hmm. is related with uh, this one okay yeah so basically uh, here um you know uh, you can choose whatever color you want to relate to your emotion okay there is no set rule as such that this particular color is associated with this emotion okay so here in this activity what are we going to look is that uh, what color you would like to take if you feel that you would like to take the queen color the queen pink and associate with any emotion you can go ahead and do that is it clear right now um but um bhavita bhavita can you just tell me like till where which point i made like i was clear to you so that i can just repeat from there um i hope bhavita you are there and i'm still audible with to you am i audible to you all is my voice clear Yes. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was just saying that um, once you're done with your writing your emotions, you have to just associate a color to your emotions. So in order to you know um, so that it's neat and clean, you can just make a small box next to your emotion and add a color there, and you can choose whichever color you would want to associate. with a particular emotion there is no set rule that this particular color is associated to this emotions aisa koi rule nahi hai all it's all upon you what color you would like to associate with whatever emotion that you are feeling okay so most of you have said that they are done with it um would anybody like to take a minute or two or would need some more time you can let us know Okay, okay. I hope I have that I was clear. Yeah, I said okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, ah, uh, we'll take another two more minutes. Okay. Till that time, others can. What you can do is, you can if you want, you can come to the other side of your sheet, your four size sheet, or else if you want, you can take another new sheet. and you can draw a heart okay on that sheet by the time uh, some of your uh, fellow mates are trying to you know associate color to their emotions others can make a heart on the other side of your sheet or you can take another sheet and make a, a draw a heart <laughs> is everyone done with associating color to so okay so now we'll move to the next step uh the next step is you can take the same sheet the other side of the same sheet and make a heart or take all together a new sheet and draw a heart on your a4 size sheet sorry once you're done with this please let me know okay during the time would anybody like to share the color they associated to any emotions i like to raise your hand and you know let us know
Yes, Anna, go ahead. Um, so I think you are on mute. Okay, so is she audible? Okay, to you all, I mean, she's not audible to me. Okay, we have somebody who's shared in the chat box. Okay, this is depression, exhausted, anxious, excited, and restless. Um, they share associated restless with red, excited with blue, anxious, purple. Okay, exhausted with orange and depression with green. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, red for anger, blue for sad, violet for fatigue, blue for tears, and orange for bright. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else who would like to share with us? Okay, by the time, are you all done drawing a heart on the sheet? Okay. Shubra says yes. What about others? And during that time, if any one of you would like to turn on your camera, that would be great. Okay, so Bhavita says pink for love, black for sadness, red for anger. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bhavita, for sharing. Okay. What about others? Are you all done drawing a heart? Karti says stress, gray, scare, scared. Um, orange, tired, green, lazy, blue, confused, yellow, happy, pink. Okay, Amrit says happy pink, angry, dark red, irritated black, overwhelmed orange, mixed brown, relaxed sky blue. Sana says, okay, tiredness, brown and yellow, quietness, parrot green, confused pink plus blue. Okay, satisfied yellow plus orange. Okay, so now we'll move to another, the other step. So we have all made our color key, right? You, some of you have just shared that how you have associated your colors. Okay. So what we're going to do is now this heart that you have drawn in on an A4 size sheet. Like you've drawn a big heart, an uh, entire heart. We're going to color. We're going to use those colors that you have associated with each emotions. And we're going to color this heart. So before coloring this heart, you know, you can even formulate a proportion that you want to proportion, uh, like, you know, divide that how much proportion in terms of percentage, maybe. Um, yes, sure, Priyanka, go ahead. If you feel that you would like to draw a flower and then you would like to color it, it's better. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this is just a common shape that. Um, be thought of to associate okay yeah so what i was saying is uh, once you've drawn this heart now what we're gonna do is we are gonna color we from our color key from your personalized color key you know you have to take the colors of the emotions and color this heart before going to color the heart what are we going to do is we are going to make a small proportion like for example, if your heart is 100%, okay, how much percent would you like to give to one emotion that you're feeling? For example, if I say my heart is 100% and then I feel stressed, okay, how much percentage or how much proportion of my, you know, how much proportion would I feel stressed? So if I give 20% to stress, now, how much percentage would I would like to give to enlighten? Or, you know, uh, if I say I would like to give 10% to enlighten. So similarly, you have to proportionate. Ki kitna person do ke aap apne har emotion ko. So if you want, you can write it down, you know, next to your heart. Or either on the right side or on the left side. Okay. Uh, that how much percentage... A certain feeling is 
how much percentage na the other feeling is. Okay, so we'll take five minutes for this. Meanwhile, there was one more person who has shared. They say confused violet, hopeful yellow, trust green. Oh, even I have done green for trust. Hopelessness pink, good lavender, confident black, rock red. Okay. I hope that proportion part was clear. Now, when we color our heart, should we also write the emotions as well as percentage with that? Okay, so because you have already associated a color to the emotion, you don't have to write the emotion, but definitely you can mention the percentage. Okay, so uh, if you want to mention it, you know, while coloring over the color, you can do that, or else just as I said two minutes back that what you can do is either on the right or left side of your uh, heart or else in your color key in itself you can mention how much percentage you feel the particular emotion okay, okay. thank you thank you bhavita i hope the proportionate part was clear once you're done with the proportions you can go ahead and color Color your heart. I hope all of you have started with coloring your heart. Ma'am, is it out of a uh, hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, for example, if you are giving a, you're, you're seeing it as a hundred percent for your heart, how much proportion would you like to give in terms of percentage to a particular emotion? Okay. You can give this much percentage to this emotion, this much percentage to another emotion. Okay, for example, if okay. I say that I would like to give 10% to enlightenment and 20% to stress, maybe just like that. I hope it was clear. Yes, yeah. yes Thank you. Okay, so yeah, I mean, uh, I think all of you can see how. Um, thank Is you, thank okay? you, ma'am. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you, thank you for sharing with all of us. I hope everyone was able to see. What about others? Is anyone done? Would anybody like to show it to us? Okay, ma'am, would you like to share it again so that everyone can have a view? Yes, okay. I hope Aarti, is it, it, it is visible to you now. I think there's some problem with my settings. I'm not able to see anything. Uh, uh, would you like to just 
just you know leave the meeting and join again maybe thank you because of the internet connection yeah i i'll do that i'll do that and yeah sure what about others how where did where have you all reached okay i am facing one issue i have listed mm-hmm. 11 emotions mm-hmm. and assigned the colors but mm-hmm. then uh, i need to do a lot of maths and calculating the percentage okay so what you can do is you know you can calculate the percentage maybe later but you can just first color okay color to understand how much you're feeling right so in your heart you can just take a portion like how much ever portion you feel that is needed for this particular emotion you can color accordingly and maybe uh you know then with the the coloring that you have done through that you can later associate mm-hmm. the percentages maybe okay okay that is a good idea thank you yeah okay thank you ma'am accept uh, gray color violet and uh, uh, brinjal color brown color i mm-hmm. am not able to correlate my emotions to any color all are equally uh, seems to be equally uh, in that case what should i do okay so um you saying that all the emotions that you're feeling you are only able to associate two colors with them is that so no i'm saying that except three colors mm-hmm. like brown uh, mm-hmm. violet jo uh, brinjal color and mm-hmm. uh, gray color except mm-hmm. these colors i mm-hmm. am not able to correlate my uh, my emotions to other colors any like other colors green, yes uh, okay. you, as you are asking ki if you are sad which color you will associate if you are happy which color you will associate mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i uh, mm-hmm. i only able to see uh, able to speak that uh, except these three colors these are mm-hmm. uh, these i don't do not like Mm-hmm. all colors are equally seen to me if i correlate the emotions i do not able to associate with them okay if you think that these three colors except these three colors you are able to only correlate with other colors that's absolutely fine you can correlate your emotions others with any are, colors that... yes sir yeah yeah others Go are uh, equally equally proportionate proportionate i mm-hmm. not able to say that ye ye happy hai to ye ye color ho gaya sad hai mm-hmm. to ye color mm-hmm. ho gaya to so i'm not able to distinguish this one okay okay so uh, so the what the idea is um you know that you feel that all the colors are equal to you right that aisa kuch nahi hai ki this specific color brings in out this particular emotion so you can just see it in this way that to you know in order to use colors or in order to you know uh, understand how much proportion you are feeling these particular emotions that you have write, wrote down you can just associate any color to any emotion you don't have to put a lot of thought ki ye emotion sochte waqt mujhe kaun sa color dhyan mein aa raha hai you can maybe randomly associate colors okay just randomly associate colors for yourself and then you can color the heart does that sound okay to you sushila no i will try ma'am actually itna kabhi socha nahi ki i will correlate the colors with the sadness happiness etc like this okay that's, that's absolutely fine you can just take smaller steps and you can slowly do that it's not no hurry in that you have to complete it today right now itself okay you can just take your own time okay yeah so we have another person sharing for us um thank you thank you so much for sharing it with us so that's the the they have proportionated their heart um would you like to talk and tell us like maybe Are we all done, or do you think we would need some more time? No, ma'am, done. Done. Okay. Okay. Would anybody like to share? Like, would like to show? Okay. Oh, we have another person showing us. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> That's a totally different way. That looks really nice. Thank you. 
for sharing. Okay, we have a lot of you sharing. I'll just stop my screen sharing so that all of you can share. Yeah, you all can if you want, you know, just turn on your cameras and show each other. Yes, sure, Chingmay, you can take some more time. It looks really nice, Mansi. Thank you. Thank you all whoever, are, whoever is showing it on the screen. Okay, we have another person showing. Okay. Yes, we have uh, Bhavita showing. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bhavita, for showing us. I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah. Oh, Kosha. We have Kosha who's showing us. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kosha. Um, just a second. I think there's another person also there. Yeah, Shubhra. Okay. It's nice. I mean, it's pretty nice to see that how all of you are able to, you know, proportionate or use your own ideas to make the proportions. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I think we also have Aarti who's sharing the screen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Aarti. We'll take some more time. We'll, we will take another three minutes so that if anybody is left to complete, they can complete. And once you're done, you can just write done or yes in the chat box. Okay, I think we have few of us who are done. Yeah, some of us shared, a few of us shared, and a few of you shared in the, like, shared your screen as well. Um, turn on your cameras and showed us. I hope everyone is done. Are there a few more people? We'll, we'll take another one minute. Maybe. Oh, during the time, would anybody like to, you know, unmute and share with us, like, once you had done this activity, like, you try to list down the emotions, you try to associate colors with them, you try to color those emotions to a heart, and try to understand what proportion of that particular emotion you feel, you know, you are feeling from last one month or from quite some time. So would you like to share how this process has been for you or what are you feeling after doing that whole activity? Would anybody like to unmute? We have another person who is sharing the screen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bhuvanji, for that. I hope your name is pronounced like that. If it's not, please let me know. 
No, it's true. So here are my own notions, and uh, okay. I didn't do it in the form of a Venn like diagram, but yeah, a little bit, and I overlapped uh, happiness with enlightenment. Okay. So it's like because I've in enlightened, I become happy. So it's like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Would anybody else like to share? Okay, I hope most of you are done. So we'll we'll try to move to the reflective part of the activity. Okay, so the basic idea of doing this activity was more, more, more to understand what are the major emotions. Okay, that you have, you know, you feel within, right? So that you are clear with the emotions that you feel and understand, right? The emotions that you are feeling in your day to day life. Okay, so now you can see that when once you have made and colored that heart, you can see the proportions or emo proportions of particular emotions or the major emotions that you are feeling in your day to day life in the form of a pie chart. Basically, when you're trying to associate it with percentages, you can see definitely have a definite understanding. But there might be a lot of people who have you know associated more than you know. four to five emotions so uh, you can you know even with the use of colors understand like what proportion of these emotions are you feeling right and what are these major emotions that you're feeling so once we understood that right what a uh, few questions that you can you know look into can be the one can be one one question can be what are the reasons that have led to these emotions maybe trying to put your focus on that area or that aspect okay also trying to you know um focus uh, on maybe how it has affected you okay how these emotions are affecting you or how a particular emotion has affected you so far and you know what can be done from your end to bring a change to this particular emotion or also um if for example you feel there is a negative uh, emotion which you feel is negative or you feel is in you know great number which you think has to be reduced so what can be done from your end to you know or how much uh, you know you can reduce of uh, that particular emotion for example you are feeling a 50% of being i hope there is not a lot of background noise from my end okay so um am i audible to you all yes sir yes okay, okay thank you thank you so much okay so what i was just saying is uh the one question that you can also like you know, try to focus is how much of an emotion that you are feeling is negative you can reduce for example If I say I feel twenty percent stressed from quite some time, so how much of it I can reduce? Can I bring it down to a ten percent? What can I do to bring it down to a ten percent? What can I do to bring down the my stress levels from twenty percent to ten percent? These are few reflective questions that you can ask yourself. Uh, would you like me to repeat the questions, or I hope? um all the questions were clear yes yes sana go ahead oh sorry kosha yeah yeah so i'll just repeat the questions so the question is first question is um the reasons that have led to you know you feeling the these emotions okay just looking into the reasons that have led for you to feel that emotion right and how the next question is how it has affected you how you feeling that particular emotion has affected you third question can be what can be done to bring a change if at all you think there is a change required what can be done from your end to bring a change okay the next question can be 
um, what has led to these emotions, what exactly has led to these emotions. And also, um, like I was just talking about, can you reduce the negative emotions? For example, if at all you're feeling a particular emotion is negative, how much of it, how much percentage or a proportion of it can be reduced? So what can be done to reduce, you know, and can you do that? These are a few reflective questions that after this activity you can do. If you want to answer those questions to yourself right now, you can go ahead and do that. Or else if you want to take some time after the session and sit here with yourself and would like to reflect on it, definitely you can go ahead and do that as well. I hope, Kosha, the questions were clear at this time. Yes, ma'am. Uh, only okay. one doubt I have is if mm -hmm. the is very unclear that yeah, I'm experiencing this emotion, but uh, mm -hmm. how can I uh, so you know when they don't have that insight on what they can do to uh, reduce the mm -hmm. emotion, mm -hmm. so they're mm -hmm. obviously going to ask the therapist or a counselor. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so uh, like in that case, should we guide them that for example, if a client is experiencing sadness, mm -hmm. so then we have can guide them in a way. That yeah, now you should start working on those activities which is going to bring you pleasure and happiness. Okay, yeah. I mean, uh, before you know, guiding them, you can just ask them a few questions mm -hmm. like, what proportion of it you know they would like to reduce, and you know, how is that effective affecting them, and then going it about like, what are they looking in it. Definitely, they wouldn't know exactly how they can reduce it or what has to be done. There you can be suggestive in terms of what activities can be used. But exactly um, in terms of guidance of what emotion has to be reduced, I think that has to come from the client's end, what emotion okay, they want to reduce. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, like if a uh, client has, say, uh, anxiety emotion, which is uh, mm -hmm. quite dominant, mm -hmm. so then mm -hmm. we'll have to suggest them uh, if they are not able to come up with any uh, idea, we can suggest them things like mindfulness, meditation, hmm, definitely. exercise. Yeah, exercise right? you can maybe suggest to understand yeah. like how you can help them. But definitely which uh, emotion has to be reduced or which emotion would they would like to reduce a proportion. I think that has to come, yeah. come from the client. Yes, yes, Shubra, okay. go ahead. You have your hand raised. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Pusha. I want to ask, like, sometimes it happens, like, when we ask clients to reduce emotions, negative emotions, mm -hmm. they understand it in a perspective of suppression. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how to clarify this uh, difference between reducing and suppressing? I mean, yeah. we definitely do, do not want them to suppress and bottle up or pile up the emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think um, when we are suppressing the emotion, you can just psychoeducate them that you don't have to, you know, keep that emotion to yourself. Definitely, you should express that emotion. When we are saying to reduce that emotion, doesn't mean that you stop expressing that emotion altogether and just keep it to yourself. When we are saying reducing, it's more about, you know, you're trying to replace that emotion with some some other emotion that is giving you pleasure or that is helping you out. Um, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, by mistake, some one of you have actually started sharing your screen. Um, I'm trying, ma'am. Okay, okay, you're trying to. Okay, okay. So sorry. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, anyone has any questions? Would any of you? Is anybody having any question? You can go ahead and ask. Oh, OK. So yeah, so you're sharing the image okay so we have another person who is sharing what they have drawn okay thank you thank you um sushila ma'am for sharing with us 
so as we come almost to, towards the end of our today's session um the activity was more about understanding you know in terms of you know and understanding and making it clear for ourselves okay ki what are the major emotions that we feel and how can we work on them okay and how can you as an individual can work on these particular emotions that you're feeling and also to understand what are the major emotions that you feel in your day to day lives there were few reflective questions that i had shared with you all in towards the end those can help you to gain more understanding about yourself in terms of your emotions and feelings and how can you work on yourself because um when we are focusing on the emotions they associate to a lot of things right while we are associating colors to the emotions at the same time we can you know we we'll, we try to understand in terms of the people who are associated to it um when we are trying to answer the question of what has led to that emotion they can be a they can be a person or memory or even a particular situation or occasion that comes into the picture so those were the few reflective questions and i hope um at the moment nobody has any questions so here we come to what's the end of our today's session thank you all for joining and we are looking forward to meet you all tomorrow as well in tomorrow's session thank you thank you for joining everyone thank you and i have a question it's uh, not yeah. related to today's session mm -hmm. um, i'm waiting for sunday's recording because i missed sunday's class and it's still not uploaded on youtube okay it will be shortly done uh, you'll definitely receive the recording uh, from our youtube channel we'll be shortly doing that okay and i'm like eagerly waiting to know what happened because i missed i couldn't attend on sunday it's absolutely fine it will be soon there uh, in on our youtube channel and you'll definitely will be able to be a part of it okay and tomorrow's uh, uh, topic remains the same as uh, discussed in the Uh, PDF it was shared right mandalas and uh, yeah 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 tomorrow it would be entangles and mandalas material ready with us yeah yeah you'll require a paper sheet of paper a yeah. few pens or pencils and if you would like to you know so see add some colors and you can colors grab too. some okay. colors too sure sure we'll do that thank you and thank you so thank much thank you thank you so much thank you everyone for joining in uh yeah i i think we have a hand raised um would you like to unmute and talk if i'm not wrong it's ronak tukral yeah hi hi i'm so sorry i'm really bad with names and so sorry. hi it's okay it's okay it's it's ronak okay okay thank you uh so i wanted to ask about the class we have day after tomorrow the brokenness one right Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, so I wanted to ask about the material we need to get, uh, particularly about what type of clay we need to get. Okay. So it can be any type of material. Okay. Uh, but something that you can associate with an existing material which is broken, right? A clay mm -hmm. that can be um, you know, normal clay that we use. Or okay. Uh, so yeah. we we need to buy a normal clay or or you one don't have to. Price. Uh, you don't have to actually buy something. You can just have something that you have at your home. Okay. okay. Within the okay. PDF, you can see something that is broken. We're gonna try to make something new out of what we already have existing. Okay. Is something that no, you feel was, is... it, the clay was there, no? So I wanted to just confirm if uh, we have yeah, to get any clay. clay or something. No, 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 no. You can get any clay that you feel. Okay. Okay. With, okay. Which you are comfortable with working. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. thank you everyone um is there any other question that anyone has yes i just have a question yes um uh, yes, is there any specific uh, technique which can be used to deal with grief as an emotion i mean if a client has uh you know lost someone like is experiencing that grief ka thing mm -hmm. so like even that can be channelized in this activity isn't it yes definitely that can be channelized in this activity but uh, i think in the initial part 
we would have to like you know basic uh, idea is the talk therapy right you will have to talk to them and you know in order to come reach to a point where they can do the activity is more important i think then i think definitely you can take this as what emotions they are feeling and then you know try to um connect that grief part with them through this activity with certain reflective questions just like how are they feeling and how do they think they can work on it but i think there would be a step by step process starting from you know connecting the activity and also trying to you know understand the points of you know how much they are able to open up when they are even talking about it yeah. okay ma'am okay thank you thank you kosha i hope there are no more doubts so we here we end our today's session thank you everyone for joining and we're looking forward to meet you all tomorrow as well in tomorrow's session thank you